Hey YouTube, uh, today is going to be a guide on how to make some flight plans for a flight simulator 2004. Um, I'm, I think this might work with uh, Flight Simulator X. Okay, the program we want to use is a program called uh, AI Flight Plan 2. Um, I'll put a link in the description. But basically, uh, if you're running Windows 7, run as administrator, else you have problems with it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to load it up. <laughs> Let's see if it loads. Yep, yeah, here we go. Okay. Um, I know it's not working right now, so... <sighs> okay, so I'll just wait on that. Okay, what basically what this program does is you enter a ton of information about what your flight plan want is going to be, and then um, it'll compile it all to you in a in a VGL file in your flight simulator. So it saves you a ton of um, ton of work. So um, okay, so let's begin. Um, what you want to do when you get it is go up here to f where it says files, flight plans, aircraft. Go flight plan to go open the flight plan editor. Click this. And I get this board here. Okay, here we go. So yes, it does work with Flight Simulator X too. If you hit Flight Simulator X, it'll give you a directory to your Flight Simulator X uh, scenery file. But uh, for now, we're gonna just do Flight Simulator 9 because that's the version I use. Uh, because my computer's was slow. Okay, so aircraft list is blank. I'm gonna go to, is um aircraft up here. Bulk add uh, aircraft to list. Be a while, cause you guys have my errors, so it's fine. This now, you got a, a whole f uh, stack of uh, aircraft you can use. For instance, I'm gonna use um, let's see, uh, see, so yeah, I'll just use uh any aircraft you want, like I don't know. Uh, A Boeing uh, 747, such as if I want to make a a flight with a Pokemon 747 ANA. So I'm gonna select this aircraft here. For local times here, you just use your local time and standard or summer. Like depends on whenever you do the flight. Okay, so here we go. Um. What we do is we're gonna start new flight plane. You go down here, start new flight plane. Okay, you choose the aircraft. Registration, you. I don't know. I'm just put it any number. FS9 test or whatever you want, whatever your flight tail wants to be. Okay. Now for this, the leg list. Um, what I do is usually 24 hours. Oh wait, okay. Um. What I usually do is uh, 24 hours, okay. 24 hours means it will repeat it every 24 hours. Like, if it left at 1 o'clock and came back at 3 o'clock, the next day it would leave at 1 and come back at 3. Yeah. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to have a flight plan from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock the following day, or else it, it'll it'll have a bunch of errors. Okay, for IFR, IFR, it'll contact tower and all that. Um, Active level, this is what you want to do if you want your traffic slider at 100% or 1%. If it's at 1%, it'll show there, yeah. Uh, TNG, touch and go. Probably not with a commercial aircraft, okay. Alright, flight number. Just choose, like, 85 or something, whatever you want. Um, from, okay. Type in the airport ID code, like, this is Tokyo. Okay, uh, departure time. Now, departure time, you gotta put it in, um, military time. Like, you cannot put, like, 1 o'clock p.m. You gotta put, like, 13 o'clock. So, we're gonna make this departure time at, n uh, 9 o'clock. See, there, I'm gonna put this for you to our, I don't know, Japanese, some uh, airport cards, but I guess that'll work. Um, you override ETA. The duration for this flight is gonna be 52 minutes. But if you want to override that, make it a different time. That's fine. But 
what you don't want to do is you don't want to make this any less than this because it'll have a bunch of errors. Flight, the altitude, um, just like flight levels. Uh, you don't want to do 18,000 feet, that will give you a bunch of errors. What you want to do is 180 for 18,000 feet. If you want a lower altitude, like 9,000 feet, you just go this. And then if you want 900 feet, you just do that. Yep. Okay, for this flight, we're going to make the cruising altitude uh, 24,000 feet. So we're going to put uh, 240. And we're going to put the flight name when um, it's content ATC, it'll go by the flight name. So it'll be uh, all Nippon 85. So. If you put registration, it'll contact it by this. So, okay, now what you want to do is um, save edits. Okay, now when the aircraft, now when the aircraft goes to the destination, it has to come back. So, what you want to do is go to add leg. Okay, now it's going to give you the from airport. It's the airport your destination was. So, well, the point of thing is though, you want to make sure the departure time is a lot later than the arrival time because usually there's a bunch of delays at Tokyo when taking off so you want to give it some time to go to the gate and whatnot so let's change the departure time to 12 o'clock gonna make sure now when you're going to a destination you can go anywhere but it always has to come back to the origin airport the origin airport today is uh, Tokyo so we're just put that in still 52 minute flight so this cruising altitude is going to be uh, 24,000. Make sure that the flight name is in. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, nope. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. Um, let's see what else I have to do. A flight number, just make this. To make it 85, or I'm just going to put 86 for just the next flight. I'm going to save edits. Okay. If you want to add another leg, that's fine, but make sure it always comes back to the airport before 9 o'clock the next day. Okay, when you're done with your flight plan, um, you're gonna go. Oops, sorry, I mean, I stop. Um, before you do that, you go to add flight plan to list. Then it'll show up over here. This is the information that goes into the text file under flight plans. Okay, now you can uh, compile the traffic file and save. Well, you do. You name it anything you want. So I just put traffic. You can make sure you have underscores. Um, A and A. -S 747 Pokemon uh, dot jail, and this is where you compile for a flight simulator X or not. It's important if you're putting the wrong one, it won't show up. Okay, then it has to compile and compile su su successful. So that's pretty much it. If you load your uh, flight simulator, mine takes forever to load, so I won't do it. Um, it will sh if you go to the airport at the time you see it, like if I went at 9 o'clock, you'll see it push back and take off. And if you go like 9.50, you'll see it arrive at this airport and whatnot. So that's pretty much about it. Uh, if any questions, just leave it in the description below and I'll try my best to answer them. Okay. Alright, thanks for watching. Remember, comment, rate, subscribe. Alright, bye.